Hi and welcome. So this is going to be a haul of things I've purchased in the last couple weeks. So it's going to be kind of a mix of everything in no particular order. So let's just start. And then as you can see, there's quite a few things. So let's see. So this item right here is a Daniel Nicole Jasmine purse. I actually got this off of a secondhand app. It was I want to say Mercari, but I've been wanting this bag for six years. I saw it at a store once and I was like, oh, I'll get it later. And um, I didn't. So I've been looking for this bag for a while. So I'm really excited to use it at the parks. So there's the first item. I also thrifted this bag from Depop. So you can see it's like a very small section to put your things. I think this is from... Unique Love is where it's originally from, but I got it off of Depop. So excited to use Mini. Okay, next thing. Oh, my shoes. I got these shoes from Poshmark. Actually from an influencer was having a sale. They're the brand Ray. Really cute woven black sandals. So got these. And then jewelry. I got these earrings from Ross. They're juicy. $7.99. I also got these evil eye earrings from Ross. They're Aldo. $9.99. And then These earrings are also from Ross. I love Evil Eyes. And these bobble bar ones. So these were $6.99. I just don't have a price. I think they were $9.99. Oh, I also got my nails done yesterday and I posted it on my Instagram if you want to follow the Lifestyle Reporter. These are my real nails. And I tried to wear this today. I got this from Ross for $11.99. Disney bracelet, rose gold. And then my sister bought these, I actually wore them once. They're Barbie Pilates socks, because I love my Barbie. They're so cute. So I'm not sure how much they were, but she got them from um, the place where we do Pilates, Studio MDR. And then I found these at Marshall's actually yesterday, socks. They're Disney socks, six ninety nine dollars um, for nine pairs each, which is crazy. So you can kind of see like, you know, fun, fun designs. I haven't opened it yet. So you can see kind of like what it looks like, but good, good price. And then I got this from Disney. Uh, my friend Danny had one for the characters. It's a slap bracelet. It's actually for kids the princesses it's just so cute so you go like this i used to have one when i was a kid not disney but just one i just thought it was really cute so i'll just leave that on and then i got this loungefly disney halloween bag i only have a handful of lounge flies but i gotta say like i get the hype they're so cute and they're so like this one is just the colors are so pretty so i got it from disneyland in the parks my stuff's in here, but um, you can see it's like mini in there. Very cute. I used this bag the other day and it actually fits a lot of stuff. So I'll put that over there. And then I also thrifted this from, I think it was Depop. Winnie the Pooh. And I already washed it, so it's clean. I actually collect jerseys, fun fact, so I'm always on the hunt for, for more. So Don't know the best way to show these items. I'll just, I guess I'll just go through them all. So I kind of went crazy at Marshall's and I found a bunch of things that are super cheap. So like these bubble bar earrings were $12.99. 
these earrings were $12.99 as well. These are all Marshalls. Unless I say differently, they're all Marshalls. I probably need to return some of them. There's just too many. It's just, they're so cute. I love wearing jewelry because it just, any type of outfit you're wearing, it just elevates it. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a t-shirt and a sports bra. It just looks cute. I'm actually going to Disney later today and I'm going to vlog it. So let's just flip this. So these are the black ones. Oh, these are the black ones. There. These are all bobble bar, which are normally so expensive. These were originally $12.99 and for some reason they were clearance for $12, so $0.99 cents off, but I'll take it. These are probably my favorite, so you can see it's Vampire Mickey. I might return this, I love it, but it's just, do I need it? This is so cute. Let's see. You can kind of see. And then I just thought these were really cute Barbie inspired earrings and they were on clearance for $6. So cute. These pumpkins, I mean, they're just... I love Halloween, can you tell? Oh, I love this necklace I found. So definitely check out Marshalls. I heard that TJ Maxx has them. I'm going to go there later today to grab some storage boxes because my ear situation is not good. So I'm a Cancer Moon. Yes, I love astrology. So I found these earrings. They were on clearance for $8. They're little crabs. Crabs? Lobsters? Same thing to me? I don't know. Well, they're really cute. So I just thought they were a vibe to wear them at the parks or not. These ones were clearance for $8 and I just, I'm a Pisces, so I love any type of water ocean reference. So these little seahorses are just so cute. They're Rachel Zoe. I told you I got a lot. Daisy. I got the bracelet as well. I think I might actually wear this maybe today. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm going to put it on this side so I can actually wear it today. I got these as a gift for somebody, so I'm not going to show these. Um, so I got these. Mickey. Like almost done I love this one I love anything like kind of like mini related can you even see that okay. oh my god these are my second favorite because they're mini last but not least wear these to work soon. I mean, so cute. So let me just put these all away really quick. And then I actually found this at a thrift shop here in Orange County. So cute. Oh, we're gonna put this over here. 
And then we're going to go into this bag from Comic-Con, but not all of the stuff is Comic-Con. Some of it is Disney stuff that I picked up. So I bought these Hocus Pocus ears because they're just, I mean, the eye motif, obviously. The moon says Hocus Pocus. And I think I'm actually going to wear these on September 1st at Disney for the first day of Halloween. So yeah, you guys got a hint of what I'm going to wear. I mean, how cute are those? So, got these. I don't remember if I showed these in my last haul, but I got these for my friend. Um, she lives out of town, so I picked these up, but I got them as well. So these are the Maleficent ears from Disneyland as well. And then, oh, I love these ears. How's it work? Oh, I have to bow all this. So these are the Star Wars Grogu ears. They're kind of heavy. They're gonna poke me, but those are so cute. Okay, they kind of are a little painful, but I mean, so cute. Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see, like, I'm still gonna keep them. They're just like sharp. Yeah. Oh yes. I love this hat. I thought this glowed in the dark and I went on rides with it last week and it didn't, but I still love it. It's from Disneyland. I thought that was a bat. Sorry, I thought that it was a ghost, but it's a bat. It says boo. I love this hat. Definitely a must get. And then my kind bestie got this for me. So Chip and Dale. So I think Dale is the one with the red nose. So this is Dale and it comes with like a little acorn. It's from Disneyland, so I appreciate her getting that for me. Oh, yes. These ears apparently are very controversial because people think the veil's ugly, but I actually like them. So these are the Darth Vader ears. Are they lounge fly? No, they're not lounge fly. So I wore them the other day in my photo on Instagram, but obviously I think it looks better with your hair down, but I think they're cute. So... These are the Darth Vader ears from Disneyland. This one girl was trying to see about taking this off, but honestly, you can just like pin it back, I think, if you don't like the veil, but I like the veil, so. And then, oh, so Comic-Con. So I grabbed this from the Loungefly stand in Comic-Con. It's still available on their website, it's Darth Vader, which went well with my Darth Vader ears, but you can see. like bad boys I guess and then so I got that mystery box that I posted on my shorts and it came with like Boba Fett items I haven't opened it yet but this fanny so it came with that came with this I probably should open it I don't know I'll open it later but came with him Came with this bag as well. It's like a crossbody. Crossbody. It came with a lanyard. All in a mystery box. It's pretty cool. Came with this wallet as well. And then a pin. And I'll, actually, I have to say, Comic-Con was so much fun. It's overwhelming. There's a lot. You probably need at least two days. But I went for one day, and it was a blast. I loved it. Okay, so that was all from there. That was all the one mystery box. And then I got this hat for Love Avengers. This is really cool. And if you're wondering who my favorite is, it is Scarlet Witch. I love the witch. Oh, that's cute. I got that from another booth. And then... Okay. I got these for free at Comic-Con. This was from the Lego stand. I got this for Brickbuster video. 
and it came with this Captain America pin. It was free. And then they gave this as the official pin for Comic Con. I thought it was really cute. Hopefully, I can go again next year, but we'll see. I got these for free. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is not really a haul like item I bought. It's just it was my pass, but it's like a nice memory. It was really fun. And this giant bag, which is the the Comic Con bag. So, anyways, so I think that's everything. Um, I bought some clothes from Ross and Marshalls, like super discounted prices, and I think I'm gonna do a separate video of um, clothes haul, like just try them on to show you what it looks like. But I hope you enjoyed my haul, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos.